Here we go. Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with thelandgeek.com, your systemized way of getting freedom in real estate. In case you don't know who I am, a professional land investor. I've been buying and selling raw land since 2000. I've done over 5,000 unique transactions. And as David Benalis, the Facebook whisperer, <laughs> tell you, this is the best passive income model. David, how are you? I'm amazing, Mark. I've been thinking about this. Is this a, a shush or is this a whisper? So it's it could a, be like whisper. it could be like this, like a whisper. It's a whisper. Or a shh. I, yeah. Tate Litchfield totally has me getting a, a an emoji made from Fiber for that. So, so I, I sent two pictures. I sent one like this, I right, sent one, and one like this. So we'll see what looks best. All right, Todd Weiss is on. Hey, Todd. Hey, Todd. So Todd may be joining us in Scottsdale, I believe. Oh, fantastic. Oh, Danielle Dybaugh. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. So, uh, Danielle, did you see the uh, the Facebook Live video of everybody giving you a, a standing ovation for putting together the uh, the boot camp in Vegas? I hope so. Um, thanks, Todd. Appreciate that. Chris, yeah, Chris Hector, yeah. embrace the suck. So let's let's talk about embrace the suck. You know, tell us about the shirt and shirt, Mark. Okay, so <laughs> it's I'm I'm flying out Thursday to go to Vegas, okay. and I get a Vox from uh, the Bearland family, Bearland Aaron, Bearland Melissa, and they're like, "Did you get our package?" I'm like, "Package," and so sure enough, on my on my phone, on that you know, I'm using that Smart Scan user. Um, I get a okay. I get an alert that says you have a package. So I'm like, oh, cool. I got to go get this package. So okay. I go, I open the package. Now, mm -hmm. remember, I slipped my disc on, yeah, yeah. on Tuesday, right? So I'm in pain. So I go there and I get the shirt. And I'm like, this is amazing. I think that's actually on Wednesday. So I get the shirt on Wednesday and I'm like, honey, look at this shirt. We got, I got to wash this. Um, and I'm going to take it to boot camp. So I'm packing up for boot camp on Thursday and my back hurts. And oh. somehow, like, I, I forgot it. So I'm going to wear it all, all, like every, uh, every Tuesday I want to wear this shirt. You know, I, I think it's appropriate for now, like the week after boot camp. That's like the best slogan you could have, like embrace the suck. Like, remember I said, like, Monday is going to come and punch you in the face and right. life is going to want to take hold and not let you progress with this business. I've had a few people reach out. They're like, yeah, you weren't kidding. Monday punched me in the face. I try to get a list and scrub it. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, let, let's talk about Vegas Boot Camp and what were your top three takeaways? Because oh, I, I learned something new at every boot camp. Yeah, so you, you want three, okay? I was prepared with one. <laughs> All right, what was, your top, what was your top takeaway? I'll tell you my so, top takeaway. You're so demanding, Mark. <laughs> Uh, my best takeaway uh, was actually watching you and Scott in your presentation styles. So for me right now, entering coaching, I want to improve how I can convey all this knowledge in the simplest format possible. So watching you and Scott was probably my biggest takeaway. Um, but that's not relevant to the audience, right? Um, so the biggest takeaway that could be relevant was some of the stuff in the VIP session. Um, I won't give away too much because you got to be a VIP, right? You got to be in the room where it happens. Yeah, but what Scott was talking about, as far as like you know, being a CEO and what it really looks like to be a CEO, as opposed to being just an employee, that was that was perfect. I needed that. You know, I, I'm still climbing Mount Everest, and and you know, I could be an employee and grind it out and you know, hit my goal. But then I've just created another job for myself. I'm no, I'm no longer a cabinet maker. Now I'm a land investor full time. You know, I want to be the the CEO. So you know, that was a really good takeaway and a good reminder for myself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, one of my biggest takeaways was when we're marketing our properties, only show the terms price. Don't talk about the cash price. Let the buyer come back and say, well, well what if I want to pay cash? Right. Otherwise, you're confusing the marketplace. Right. And it's really hard to have this lower cash price, this higher terms price and and get terms. Oh, uh, there's Karen. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Karen. It was so nice meeting everybody. 
uh, maybe for the second time or the first time, uh, you know, putting faces to names, people I've talked to on the phone, like whoever's watching right now, like if I met you and talked to you, I'm so glad I had the chance to do that. Like I'm learning from them every single conversation we have. So it yeah, our, I mean, our rooms are so smart and so, you know, the, the collective intelligence of the room is, is worth it alone just to come to boot camp, right? Hopefully you learn something from me or you or Scott and Mike and Tate. But even if not, like you'll learn something from the group because people are doing deals in real time. Every boot camp will talk about it. We do case studies. Um, it's, you know, hopefully even Karen Archibald, who's, who's been crushing it. Hopefully she learned something, you know? Yeah, I mean, there's a reason people come back four and five times now. Like, yeah, I mean, Tom Wills ten times. Oh man, <laughs> I'm no, learning. I think from... Nine's on six. Yeah, every time I see Tom and Miles, like I'm picking their brains. Like they are geniuses. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I just I'm showing up for you know selfishly, <laughs> like you said. <laughs> right, right, Pablo. Pablo, yeah, Pablo was a star. I I, I told him you know we played his Vox. Yeah, uh, yeah. There. Yeah, Pablo, it, it works when I freak out, right? I have that that magic power when I get super anxious. The coaching yeah, clients close the door. <laughs> Pablo and I were talking this morning about marketing. You're like, you're trying the same thing, and the same thing it worked last month, but it doesn't work this month. That happens. That's marketing. That's constantly moving. That's constantly changing, and you just have to adapt to it. Right. Right. What do you think about that. Oh, he's like it does. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you totally have to. Um, in case you don't know who I am or you don't know who David is, we're with The Land Geek. Uh, learn more at thelandgeek.com. Um, and David Benalis is known as the Facebook Whisperer. Sure. <laughs> I got to so, figure that out. <laughs> so, David, did you, did you sell those two properties this weekend um, on Facebook? Yeah, so I got, uh, let's see, a holding payment on one of them. Uh, so they wanted until, I think, like the 2nd of May to give the full down. I said, no problem. You know, give me 50 bucks. Let's, uh, I'll hold the property until then. If not, you know, I'll refund the money, but that's worked for me, you know, doing those kind of holding payments until they come up with the rest of the cash. Right. I'll do that. And then, so that one property, uh, it, is it through your own Facebook group? Yeah. I, I sold it on some buy sell groups. Um, and I, I posted to 60 that morning. Uh, believe it or not, like, the poster wasn't working correctly again. Like I posted a video, right? And it wow. scraped to 60 other groups and only the text came through, but that was still enough to get some leads and, you know, sell two properties. <laughs> How crazy, right? It's great. I mean, this business is crazy. Even when you're not performing at your best, you can still get leads. So I like, you just got to show up. It's not rocket science. You need to have the best ad, the best anything. You know, done is better than perfect. Yeah, it's, it's true. I mean, done is better than perfect. And, you know, if you're if you're not out of your comfort zone, you're not embracing the suck, um, you're probably not doing as, as much as you should be. You know, it's like, it's like a good litmus test. Oh, Karen, amazing. Yeah, I, I I love I love seeing Karen and Ken. Ken and I are huggers. Like we're like constantly hugging it out. <laughs> Karen's like, leave my husband alone. <laughs> yeah, they're good people. I enjoy talking to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the thing about Facebook. It's very transparent. Where if you're in the same group as me, you're gonna see my post. So I have nothing to hide. Like everything's out there. You can completely co copy me and have success. Like. People have done that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, Todd, I'm a total hugger. Todd, you got to come to the boot camp, man. Scott said we'll hug it out. We'll hug it out. <laughs> we'll have a group hug. <laughs> yeah, group hug. Uh, All right, so, um, so I think those are some good takeaways from boot camp. I, I, I think we got to talk about um, grit, right? Of uh, the power of grit, yeah. and. Uh, you know, oh, Todd's saying, well, mimic what works. So how often, I mean, what are the expectations that you're going to start moving the needle in this business? Is it three months? Is it six months? Like, what, what should it be, David? I would say put your head down. So, look, I had 
uh, I think it was a rabbi once tell me, he said for, you know, all, you know, faith groups, it's, it's pretty much the same. Show up, pay attention, and don't be attached to the results. So that applies to our business. Right. Show up, mail and market, pay attention, don't be attached to the results. So we can focus on, you know, lead indicators, meaning just start mailing, just start putting up blind ads. And then we're going to get this question. Hey, I sent out a batch last week. I haven't got any response. What's going on? I don't know how many times I, I, we get that question now. <laughs> right, right. And yeah. you've got to give your first mailing 30 days, right? Exactly. So like, that's some good expectations for the, you know, the new people who just started at a boot camp. You know, get a county, scrub it, just get offers out. That's the most important thing. And then just keep your head down, put up more offers and then start putting up some blind ads on Craigslist, start building a buyer's list, but just keep doing it and don't, don't change your, your motivation or your, your discipline based on the results. Right, right. And what, you, what you'll find is in the beginning of anything, anything new, you're, it's not going to be enjoyable, right? Um, I mean, think about any, anything you started, right? Whether it was a new job or um, a new sport, right? Um, it doesn't matter what it is, but you're not going to have instant competence right away. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be awkward. It's going to be frustrating. And eventually you get better at it, right? The more you do it and all of a sudden you start to enjoy it, right? Yeah. But you have to get over that hump before, um, before you just say, well, I, this isn't for me. I don't like it. Well, you're not good enough at it yet to like it. Right. Absolutely. That's where grit I think comes in. I, I mean, if I had to say, you know, the secret to su su success in anything in one word, it'd be grit. Would you agree, David? I completely agree. If I had gone to three months, um, I would have in like, based on my results, like, okay, three months, either I do it or I don't. I had bought two properties. I haven't sold any in three months. I would have quit, but yeah. I stuck with it, kept moving forward. It, you know, something wasn't working. I, I changed something up and got a different County. And it worked. And now, man, I get to be on Coffee Talk with the land geek himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's crazy. Like, I remember, you know, Scott Bossman, um, working part-time, physical therapist, struggling at first, right? Yeah. And now he's literally in his – he has more passive income this year than he does his full-time job. Yeah. Um, and working part-time. What was it, 22 months to get there? 22 months. So what, what if he quit, what if he quit at 12 months? Absolutely. If he quit at 12 months, you probably still have some passive, but you wouldn't achieve it because he kept his head down, kept moving forward. You can have success at anything as long as you just keep pushing at it. Like, yeah. Yeah, so I'll I'll tell you when to quit, okay? I'm going to I'm going to steal Tim O'Leary Shark Tank Mr. Wonderful's quote. If after 36 months you're not profitable in the land business, I'll give you permission to quit. 36 months. Right. Yeah. But that means you got to be honest with yourself. That means you're sending out 20 offers a day. You're working the business consistently every day. Right. I promise you it will move the needle in your life. And you, by 36 months, if your passive income doesn't exceed your fixed expenses, then you can quit. Fair yeah. enough. Deal. Yeah. Deal. <laughs> if you don't know who we are, um, it's Mark Podolsky, the land geek with the land .com, professional land investor. I've uh, been buying and selling raw land since 2000, and I am with David Banalis, the Facebook whisperer. Facebook whisperer. And he is crushing it on Facebook and also a professional land investor. Um, Todd, I'm getting better at calling owners and scrubbing lists. See? But when you probably first started, it was Perfect. probably very uncomfortable, right? Yeah. Todd's a musician. Like he's He does very well on stage. He's a good people person. And that's yeah. going to translate over to uh, – you know, his phone calls and this is a people business. I think let's set expectations and like, yes, you're going to have to talk to people. Um, I don't know of any business where you don't have to talk to people. I mean, if you have one, let me know what it is. And <laughs> right, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So do you guys have any questions for David or myself? Let's see if we can answer any questions, David. Unless, David, is there anything else you want to discuss? 
I think that's it. I think, you know, mostly I just wanted to set expectations, remind people that, you know, this is hard. It's a hard business. Starting anything new is hard, but it's not impossible. Yeah, no, obviously. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, again, I think it's the best passive income model. It's a one-time sale. You get recurring income every single month without dealing with renters, rehabs, renovations, or rodents. And with geekpay.io now, we're even automating the collection portion of it. Um, we have, with LG Pass, we've automated 90% of the business. So, you know, an hour or two a day, focus hour or two a day, you can, you can run this business and really start seeing amazing, amazing results. And if you go to thelandgeek.com and forward slash student dash success, we have an overwhelming amount of, of proof that all you got to do is work this. And yeah. it, it's, it's, it works. Uh, Brett has a good question. What's Brett's question? Uh, what states uh, do you work mostly? Oh, great so, question. Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I was actually on a call this morning uh, with a gentleman uh, in Pennsylvania, and he was asking me, hey, um, you know, I sent out a mailer about one property, just nothing else is going on. And I see this quite often where you may live in a state that's not good for land flipping, but you want to find something close to home. You know, we addressed this at boot camp. You know, Connie lives in Buffalo, New York, and, you know, she's trying to, you know, ideally have a, uh, a county within driving distance. Um, this is tough. I mean, this business can work anywhere, right? So if you adjust your pricing, your offers, it it's possible. However, to be profitable, you definitely want to be in a certain select state. So what, what states are those, Mark? You want to be in the Southwest, California, a little bit in the Northwest, and Florida. Because David will agree. Nobody wakes up and thinks to themselves, boy, <laughs> I'd really love to buy some raw land in Pennsylvania. Unless you live in Pennsylvania, right? But Absolutely. the whole country is enamored with Nevada, Texas, Arizona, Colorado, California, Oregon, Washington, Florida, right? There are tons of property growing and that's you know being in the sunshine states yeah exactly yeah connie we just uh we just we're talking about you right now matter of fact connie, connie white so connie is the winner of the uh coffee giveaway from last week oh that's right yeah that's so right awesome we'll get you a ten dollar gift card connie don't worry about that connie how was boot camp for you i, I hope you learned a lot um <laughs> i i think i think it, it was, you know, and, and that's the great thing is like, you know, Connie Whitesell comes this weekend and, you know, I, I could see on, on day one, you know, the land investing clouds in her head started to clear up by Sunday. Connie's like ready to go. You know what I mean? Like she is ready. Um, it was that's, great. That Sunday energy is you have to experience it. Anyone that went to boot camp. There's that energy on Sunday, right? Everyone's motivated. We have that one really fun game we can't mention here. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Can't say it. But yeah. yeah. We got some good questions coming in. Yeah, Ryan Lopez just jumped in. Is the website the best place to gather missed information? I, I mean, mean I, I would say maybe. I mean, I would go on the podcast for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, we got the weekly roundtables now. We talk about land investing. The Land Geek archive 100 podcasts of land investing is a lot of information there i don't know david where else would you go what i would say to do is message this page uh, and just say you know need more info and then i've got a bot set up that'll kind of guide you through where you are at the point and then give you the most appropriate information so it could be podcasts could be you know um testimonial of it i just message this page and it's it's a good enough bot now where it'll direct you to where it's most appropriate. I'm excited about the bot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put put the uh, the link for the bot on the uh, comments. Okay, it's uh, m dot me. So I don't have a. Oh, I can do it. So it's m, wait, it's m dot me forward slash the land geek. Land geek. That's it. That's it. I love how uh, easy Facebook makes it. I think there was another question that came up. When do you know? When it's time to leave a county, like what are the red flags? I saw that question. Right. There's county. Thank you. Learned a ton. Just got off the phone with Mike Z. Awesome. Um, like, when do you know when to leave a county? 
Yeah, like what are we, I saw that question come up. You know, what are the red flags when it's time to leave a county? When you're not doing a deal. Yeah, when it's not profitable. It's not profitable. Um, you know, a lot of times though, it's just like marketing, where, you know, if your response rate is under three percent, right? Your yeah. offers might have been too low. So a lot of the times you have to analyze, is David Benalis doing deals there? Is Frontier Properties doing deals there? Is Land Moto doing deals there? Like if we're all doing deals there and yet you're not getting any traction in that county, it's probably because out of the gate, your pricing was off, right? Yeah. So I might mail again with a higher price versus you say, oh, this is a crappy county. So... I would say that if you know definitively deals are being done there, but you're not getting deals there done there done done there, you got to look at what you're doing as opposed to this is a bad county. Do you agree, David? Yeah, I mean we always say twenty five percent market value, but it, some counties could be just so popular that people are getting like three offers every two months. I mean, so <laughs> put it in perspective, that's still very little, right? So there's still no competition in this business. Right. But you may have to offer 30% instead of 25% on some counties. Right, right. Or for instance, um, there's a county in Hawaii. I was talking to Chikarski's and I was like, so how's that Hawaii uh, county going? Right. People might just overvalue their property and a low ball offer will not work in some counties. Right, right. Dave Tingersley, might the Lanky community have a list of counties that haven't worked well? I mean, I think it's easier to just say, here's our secret list of counties. Yeah. There and you go. How do you get that? Scott, <laughs> Scott Todd. Scott Todd. So where can someone find the secret list of counties, Mark? Uh, so the best place to go is thelandgeek.com forward slash um, foundational training, right? And then if yeah. you want to talk about it with David, set up a call at landgeek.com forward slash training. And he'll walk you through um, – the step-by-step -step program, where we get the secret list of counties, how we got that secret list of counties, and how you can actually start doing this business without going through all the pain and torture that I had to go through, and all yeah. the all the all the trial and error. I mean, I've made million dollars of mistakes, so you don't have to. Yeah, exactly. You know, learning from you or anyone else that's uh, already doing it is the best way. I don't know why you would try to bootstrap this business when you have so much knowledge available. I mean, for, for a tiny investment, why would you bootstrap this business? I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. I don't either. I don't know. Um, yeah. yeah, there's, I don't know. Yeah. My, um, I think it's, it was, like, it's like saying, Hey, I, I want to go to Mount Everest by myself, yeah. but your shirt was right there. He'll take you up there. will get you up there safely. But right? I want I want to do it myself because that Sherpa costs too much too much money. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right, you could die. Yeah. So Why on, it cost you on, more? on Friday morning, I get a, a text from my wife that my grandpa had passed. Oh, I'm so sorry. So he was on hospice, and you know his time was short. And so, how relevant is that? Like, you can always make more money. You can make more time. Yeah, it's you know I I I think I mean I I talked about this at boot camp, but. I think about this every day. If this is my last day on earth, and it could be, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, am I doing the things that I really want to do in my life? So I take Mondays and Fridays off. I have dates with my wife. I play with my kids. I pick, take my kids to school. Um, and these are all things that I, I really enjoy doing. It doesn't have to be something, you know, really uh, extravagant. I mean, sometimes we, we will do something extravagant. But for the most part, it's the simple pleasures in life that I, I really enjoy doing. And um, so I, you know, I call Monday and Friday my terminal days. If I knew I only had you know, that day to live, well, how yeah. would I want to spend that time? And, and it's always with my friends and family. And that's what I do. Absolutely, absolutely. So having a business model where you can really achieve you know, financial freedom where it's possible you could quit your day job within two years or 22 months like Scott Bossman, and right. have well, that Scott time. Todd did it in 17 months and three oh, yeah. days. Yeah. He's, he's, he's kind of the bar. Like, it took me 18 months. And that was actually a high salary. So, I mean, if you don't have a high salary, you can you could be like Jason Gagne, get an RV and drive around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean that what really, do you really need per month, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. 
Yeah, you got real low overhead. You could do this in ninety <laughs> days. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But yeah, like I, from time repeatedly, I'm seeing that people don't want to trade. They rather trade their time than their money to get this going. Yeah, I know. It's so it's so funny about money is like it's it's like this great illusion that we all buy into, right? When when you really think about it, what is money? It's just an idea. We all agree to it, right? Yeah. If we all if we all wake up tomorrow and say, you know, the dollar has no value anymore. The dollar has no value. It's just a piece of paper, right? Yeah. Land is real, right? You can go and you can touch it. You can grow crops on it. You can do things on it. That's a real asset. Money, you know, I don't know. It's it. it I mean, look, I, I have I used to have scarcity mentality. Um, it's very very difficult to break out of that and um, and start valuing your time more than money. Yeah. Um, you don't have to be as extreme as me where I literally won't do errands anymore. Like everything's on Amazon. <laughs> I won't even go. I won't even stand in line in Chipotle. Like Mark I'll won't have even, he won't order. even be on a hold for the IRS. He has someone do that for him. <laughs> right, right. Brett, how long have you been selling this training program? Good question. How long have you been doing this, David? This what, 2014? Three and a half years? Three? Three years? years? Three and a half. Three and a half years? Brett, check out uh, the landgeek.com forward slash student success. Um, so you started this is in 2001. a massive market and literally no one doing it. Yeah. You'd be just fine. So, Martin, you started in 2001. Uh, so you, you were by yourself for a long time. Why did you decide to start teaching this? Well, I, I decided to start teaching it because, um, you know, number one was uh, somebody called me and said, hey, do you teach this? I said, no. And then he said, well, what if I pay you this? I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> okay. So Bob was like, I will stand in line for Chipotle still. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but Pablo, I got three kids. Like, that's a big order, man. It's not, <laughs> you know? So um, so that was number one. It was like, I, you know, number one, I was like, oh, people want to, you know, this could help people, right? Mm -hmm. And um, And honestly, like, Nobody ever after I, I after I sold them his property and after you've been doing something for ten years, you want a new challenge, and nobody ever thanked me, like, hey, you know, thanks for selling me that piece of land, right? It helped five people in my life, myself and my family, right? Yeah. Great business for me and my family, but when you know a guy like David, the Facebook whisper, is going to retire his dad and his uncle. Yeah. Through this business, I, I'm getting the chills. I'm getting emotional thinking about it. <laughs> right? Like I can I'm, now die in peace, knowing <laughs> that I've actually made a difference in other people's lives. And I get this like every day. Right? I retired my spouse. I made more money this year in land investing than I did in my full time job. I'm quitting my job. Rachel Mueller and um, Sean and Rickman quit their jobs. They have enough passive income now to travel the Europe, you know, year year in in Europe. I mean, these are things that are priceless to me, and really, that is my why is to move the needle in people's lives. So yeah, it started with I can't believe someone's going to pay me to teach them this business, and now it's graduated into I really love helping people, and that's that's why I do it. So I remember the first two boot camps I went to. I'd see the inner circle, you know, you, Scott, Tate, and, you know, some of the other coaches that would show up, you know, talking off in the corner about what you guys talking about. And I was like, man, that's cool. So I actually got to be a part of that, you know, that inner circle. Man, you guys are a riot. The things you <laughs> – man, I think Scott spent more time talking about his drone than, like, <laughs> strategies. Right, right. Man, like, like it, it's good to know that, like, even there, like – just nothing but genuine human beings on your team. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. I mean, that's the thing is like everyone's, everyone's generous. Everyone has abundance mentality. Um, no one's holding anything to the vest. Like you don't come to boot camp. You're like, well, we're going to give you this amount, but if you really want the good stuff, yeah, <laughs> you know, take your credit card in the back. I mean, you know, which is, the typical real estate information model, which um, if you've gone to other real estate seminars, literally there's not a sleazier business than real estate information that I that I that I've seen. Have you gone to any of these seminars, David? You know what? I want to just so I can you go. You know, I have a story. And so I'm gonna find the next one. I think I saw a post somewhere in Santa Monica. Yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. Maybe I'll go talk to them about land. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
No, really. So, I mean, Karen's been. She knows. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, it's amazing once you have success, you just want to pass it on to see your friends succeed too. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 really just abundance mentality. When I first started, my friends thought I was a drug dealer, right? I didn't <laughs> tell anybody what I did. I was like, oh, I'm going to keep this to myself. Heisenberg. Right? <laughs> and, um, you know, have I has my has Frontier Property suffered since, you know, I did 192 deals last year. Scott did 197 deals last year. No, I mean everyone's doing deals. Everyone's doing well. It's it's a massive market. You, me, a million people could be in this niche. We'll all run out of money before we run out of deal flow. It's oh. it's very hard to uh, let's break that down. In. Right? How many property owners are there in the U.S.? I, I don't even I can't even imagine. Right? Over a hundred thousand. I'm assuming. How many uh, property owners? Oh God! How many property owners are there? There's, I mean, there's there's millions right and so you only did two like let's average it up right right 200 deals last year so the top players in the game are doing 200 deals when there's over a hundred thousand owners there's no competition here there's no competition there's yeah no it's competition. Not, yeah, if you go to a RIA meeting there's 100 people in the room 99 of them will be house flippers and wholesalers right you don't go on hgtv diy network and watch dave and i shuffling paper and making money <laughs> it's just not good TV. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. if, if you guys want to learn more, go to thelandgeek.com. Start there. Um, I hope you're getting value from these Facebook uh, live videos. Um, I know selfishly, I just like seeing David and talking to him. Man, um, I like talking to him. I will fly out to have coffee with Mark for 15 minutes. Matter of fact, uh, what are you doing tomorrow? Maybe I'll fly out and have coffee with fly you. Fly out. Let's have coffee. I, I mean, I, I've got a busy day, but. Um, I'll make time for you, David. <laughs> so um, where can people learn more about the Facebook Whisperer? Let's just schedule a call with me. If they're interested in you know, like moving forward as business, just schedule a call. So just go to landgeek.com forward slash training, schedule a call. They can talk to Mike. And talk to Mike too. So He, he um, knows what I know. I know what he knows. What's your, what's your tip for the week for uh, Facebook? Tip of the week for Facebook? Just show up, right? So I sold the property on an ad that went completely wrong. Just show up. Just, Just start up. posting. I don't care what time of the day it is. As long as you post, it's better than nothing. But yeah. capture their capture their emails, right? I've got a huge focus on building your emails list now. So capture their emails somehow. Tease them with something. Tease them, yeah. My, my tip of the week is the secret to making money online. Pick up the phone. Have yeah. a conversation. Start start building rapport there, and um, you, just that alone will differentiate you from ninety nine percent of land sellers. Right? <laughs> um, and then get your here's here's where you can go get your down payment, GeekPay. io. I love GeekPay. All right, this business has never been easier to work. I mean, I've only been doing it for ten months, but I can imagine what it was like years ago compared to now. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm I'm like that that crotchety old man. You guys, that was so easy now. When I first started, I was I was looking at land. I could, I was outsourcing, crowdsourcing. There's none of that stuff. Fancy interweb stuff is crazy. <laughs> and get off my lawn while you're at it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh yeah. man. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for uh, jumping on. Um, you know, check out the bot. So what's that that link again, David? Yeah, M.me. M.me. Forward slash the land geek. Forward slash the land geek. Um, Just by sending a message, you know, every Wednesday morning, they'll get a notification that, hey, we're going live. Come check it out. You know, there'll be some other, you know, cool announcements there. You know, I don't abuse it at all. So definitely just send a message. Say hello. We'll chat. We'll chat. All right, everybody. Go embrace the suck. Work your M&Ms, mailing and marketing. You know, you can always make more time. You can always wait. You can't get more time. You can always make more money. You can't get more time, right? Yeah, um, absolutely. My, the, you know, the Land Geek program is systematized freedom, right? Take the systems, become free. That simple. You like that, David? It's that simple. Yeah. It's hard, but it's simple. <laughs> yeah, it's a simple model. Yeah. But you got to take action. Grit. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. All right. Thanks, we'll see you all next week. All right. Danielle, I'm jumping on Zoom now.
All right. <laughs> Bye. Cool.